hashtag. Get, you get a nice head start. Yo, what's going on guys? Wet Fingers Gaming coming at you with another video. Hopefully I'm not too loud, hopefully I'm not too quiet. But today is something a little different. I uh, decided to change things up just a tad. I was doing, uh, I think it's the Okina Downhill. It's not the official one, I don't think. There's two different uh, actual tracks that you got the... I don't know if this is Okina, now I'm thinking about it. Anyways, but it's a little uh, clip I recorded. This was, uh, I was just drifting it. Uh, just drifting it for fun, uh, just testing it out. I was about to say you know. I'm trying to not say you know, so I might say uh a lot and stutter and shit, but whatever. But yeah, this uh, this track is absolutely uh, super duper hard. I mean, it's got turn after turn after turn. It's like straightaways when you get into third. And I always drift uh, first person. And what happens is stuff just sneaks up on you if you watch like the main screen. So I was going to have the... Uh, the car, the third person view, be the main screen with the wheel on the bottom left and there you go, I screwed up. But the reason I didn't is because it, it I feel like it takes away from the game. I always drift third per or first person, excuse me, or the hood view. And that's just kind of my thing. Drifting third person really takes away from the immersion of the game, especially when you shell out money for the G920 and I got the head uh, tracker from Track IR, which I use a little bit, but it's so hard to drift, I mean, especially because you can't feel the inertia of the car. But anyways, as you can see, I'm trying to slay it right now. I just recorded this because this was my personal best run. The downhill is the hardest. I mean, if you can master the downhill, you can drift just about any track there is. There are some other, like, toge tracks that are insane, where it's like the actual Japanese roads, and they're just so narrow, one-way traffic. I'll have to post a video of me trying to drift that. I would, but actually, you know what? I might still. It's just so hard. I, I get, like two or three minutes into the track and I get over it just because I hit every single wall it's impossible to drift it uh, but yeah that'd be uh, something cool to do for like a community challenge that's something I've been thinking about is I can't post as many videos as I wish I can't even play the game as much as uh, I want to and the simple fact of that is I uh, work a lot and I get home so I work like 14 hour days guys I mean I'll get home and I'm just beat and I gotta wake up early and I can't stay up too late and I'll be tired for work and you don't want to be tired working on jets and stuff because uh, that's where accidents happen and everything and I want to have my time to relax because it's a constant like go 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 and right there I got stuck as you can see but uh, like I'm saying is the downhill is super hard the uphill you'll see me slay but back to the community thing I want to post like a video if you guys are down one of you guys drifting uh, you know, not just, uh, not just, like, just random, like, posts, you know, like, here, I did really good on this track, I want to have it more as challenges, because I think that, uh, that definitely would be cool to look at you guys, uh, slaying the tracks, you know, getting sideways with some style, uh, but have it be, like, narrowed down towards one thing, like, one could be, like, let's see your Arcana downhill run, but the one I want to start off with is Forest Park, here, I'll show you in a second here's this uphill now but forest park at the very end has that section where uh it's against the wall and you got that uh guard like the uh yeah like the i guess it's called a guard but <laughs> you got the guard right and i want to see who can get the closest to that and hold it the longest kind of like a drift challenge if you will which would be really really cool to go through you guys' clips and everything i think it would bring a lot to the channel, tighten the community of the G920 Club, you know, uh, be something cool. I mean, I definitely would be super interested to see who's throwing down what and, you know, because I drift with people online that comment on my videos. And I'm like, oh, yeah, these guys are pretty good. And I drift online and they, you guys all crush it. I mean, no joke. I was drifting with uh, Jared V, I think, is the guy. That dude crushes it, man. I mean, I'm smiling right now. Dude's crazy. Like, I never would have thought that you guys would be so into it. I mean, 
it, it's insane to me. It's like I thought I was getting good, and it's like no, I'm on the the track to keep up, and I'm, I'm not on the track to start setting like not like records, but start setting the pace. I'm following the pace, if you will. And it's it's crazy to me. And uh, but yeah, that's just something that I just want to see what you guys can throw down. See uh, see what boundaries you guys are pushing as far as style, you know, cleanliness. I mean. You guys hold, uh, from who I've played with, you guys hold drifts and have really nice lines to follow. I really can't tandem with anyone. Uh, I could be a chase car, you know, and I, I do absolutely horrible. It's hard for me to uh, follow lines because I, I was always under the assumption. Oh, there's a little wipeout. I'm always under the assumption that you need mad angle to drift. You need to be, and when it comes to tandeming, when you're the chase car, that's not... Uh, the fact you want to keep it a lot more straight than you would if you are the lead car because you got to have that uh, precision you got to keep up you don't know really where the person's going unless uh, unless you know them that's something I'm trying to uh, talk about here is that you guys I mean I can just pick up on your style and try to follow along compared to like people online I mean I don't know I don't know what I'm going with this but yeah uh, be prepared for that I'll, I'll probably uh, set up a a uh, what do you call it a challenge here maybe I'll give it a go and then should post me doing it and then whoever can uh, duplicate it the best you know would be uh, post your, your uh, clip on the channel it wouldn't be like a top clip or anything like maybe I might do it but I'm expecting maybe a couple uh, people to be posting videos you know this isn't just a set of Forza it's gonna be Forza uh, you know Horizon 2, Forza Motorsport 6, uh, maybe even some Dirt Rally, uh, R Factor, whatever you guys are playing. I mean, R Factor and this set of cores are pretty close uh, games because a lot of people take the mods from uh, R Factor and duplicate them in a set of cores, which a lot of people get super frustrated about. But you know, I don't know anything about that. It's not my business. I just play the the damn track and. Uh, Speaking of track, I'm going to try to post the Dank Drifts Playground uh, here. I don't know where to post it, though, in all honesty. I might make a Google Drive or figure out how you do that and post it to a Google Drive because that is by far the best uh, track, in my opinion. It is uh, it has a little bit of everything, especially hitting it with the uphill and downhill, both sections. I mean, it's kind of like a valley. You start going downhill, and then you start to go uphill about halfway through, and it just... Uh, I don't know, just everything about that track is just super awesome. Uh, it's a really fun, fun track. I mean, it doesn't take a lot of skill. It looks like it does, but it honestly, uh, at least for me, maybe it's just because that was one of the first tracks I ever did. I mean, all tracks, you gotta really... Oh, look at this. I dig this. I try to hit this. Boom. A little tail tap and then try to get close to the wall right here. Nah. No, man. I'm not. It's not having that. And then I try to get all fancy right here, and I just I screw up real bad. It's funny left and right left and right and then try to drift in here boom that's how you end a clip you know and then here we go with the dank drift uh playground we're going with the third person person excuse me because my head tracker was all screwed up so uh these are not live clips i wasn't recording when i was doing these i just thought that these were clips that i wanted to look back on and i captured it and i've decided to make this video it's not because i'm being lazy I mean, it takes more to make excuse me burping these videos than it does to make uh, my other GoPro videos where I throw on the GoPro, drift around, talk and stuff. I and mean, those are pretty easy to make. They're fun to make. Don't get me wrong. They're really fun. But I just liked uh, this dr Dank Drifts uh, session just because of how I was trying to follow the line. That's something I found out too is when you drift a map that's so, I mean, look how close I was to that and close to here. Those clipping points. But, uh, yeah, it, it just uh, helps to really narrow down your vision. So I was trying to follow this yellow line and try to stay on top of it as much as I could, try to stay in the lane. And that's something that I feel helps when you narrow it down because then you have room for air. So if you try to drift on the outside lane and you make a mistake, then you still got the uh, left lane. You still got a little bit of the uh, outside lane or inside lane, excuse me. Holy crap. But yeah, uh, as you saw, I did a little drifting in the beginning of this video. I thought that was fun. Uh, I hate street drifting, though. I mean, I wouldn't call it street drifting. I was just on a secluded area. But still, it, uh, I'm on a diversion program right now. I got a speeding ticket, which is no bueno. But uh, it's not going on my record or nothing. So I just can't get a ticket within 120 days or something like that. So 
I mean, it sucks because I just got my 240 running beautifully. And I got my bro's 240. Uh, I'll be posting videos of that here in a second. His 240 is drift ready. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Here's my try to do a little turnaround. But, but thank you guys for watching. What? Thank you.